everybody. Just want to share with you a real inexpensive fall decor uh, craft that you can hang on one of your doors or inside. Uh, the supplies you need are just a scrap piece of cardboard. Um, luckily, my last name is an N, and I was able to use a ruler to kind of draft out my letter. But if you have a G or a S, you know, name, I, if I were you, I would just go to Hobby Lobby, and they're only like $2. They're a little smaller than this, but, you know, you can do it with cardboard if you can get your letter cut out. Some fall color felt. I, I got a couple bowls here for circle templates. Uh, some jute string, some jute uh, twine. Um, you, they sell this at the Walmart craft store, uh, craft department, but I went over to hardware and I was able to get a little more for like $1.99. Um, I use a sponge brush just to kind of uh, smooth out the tacky glue. And I do use Elaine's tacky glue. I love this stuff, and it, it works great. It's a, little, um, it's a little tackier than Elmer's glue, and it helps keep your, your string in place. Some scissors, and just a couple uh, uh, fall color ribbon, one for an accent bow, and one for the hanger. And I will probably use a, a hot glue gun to adhere the hanger ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to cut away for a minute and I'll go ahead and get my felt cut and then I'll go ahead and start wrapping the, my letter with the jute twine. Hey everybody, okay I'm back and I have got my circles cut and I went ahead and pulled out of my stash some little silk uh, leaves. Uh, even when I do use flowers out of a bunch, I, all, I never throw away the leaves because I could always use those leaves in a wreath or sticking a hole in a wreath or, you know, just some little spot that may need a leaf. So I never throw away my little silk leaves. And so I've gone, went ahead and started making the little uh, felt roses. And so I'm going to cut, uh, cut one for you and just to show you how it's done. It's really simple. You see my circle is not cut perfect whatsoever. Um, and once, once it's all rolled up, you won't even be able to see the imperfection. So go ahead and cut a little spiral into your circle. It does not have to be perfect, but you know, try to keep your spiral the same size. But you see that mine's not perfect by any means, and no flower in nature is. Okay, all right, so uh, what I do is I put a little spot of glue. As I go along, every three or four wraps, I will put a spot of glue, and it's just like rolling up a ribbon or a piece of tape. I mean, that's all you're basically doing. And that little spiral circle will turn into what kind of looks like a, a rosebud. Even my little spirals are kind of cut jaggedy, which that's fine. It'll all work out once it's beside the other flowers, and it just makes it look even more realistic. Those little drops of glue just kind of help it. Stay secure. Okay. All right. All right. Now I've got my little brown rose, and uh, I just kind of take the center. If you're able to grab it, and I just kind of twist it a little bit, that kind of tightens up the little rosebud center. And so, so anyway, it all it'll all work out once get them all done okay so I'm gonna cut away I'm gonna uh, go ahead and make these two because they're a little time consuming and you kind of seen how I did it but I just cut out a spiral and rolled it up like a piece of tape from the center and so I'll be back in just a second all right I have my little felt roses made and I now I'm gonna start wrapping my cardboard and I may take a piece of tape or we'll just we'll try it with a piece of glue See if it'll just kind of hold it until I can get started. Depends on, I just want it to be sticky enough where it'll kind of hold it. But I just start, I, kinda, I don't start exactly the end, uh, just so I can get, get myself started. And seriously, just start wrapping it. Okay. And 
what I do is just do some of that right there and put a little of that glue there. And this will just kind of help secure it. Just be, just go slow, be patient, and you might need to push it down every once in a while. But just that little thin bed of glue will attach to the jute. Eileen's tacky glue has been around forever and it's just it just works better than Elmer's glue. I even thought this would be cute like if you did a rustic Christmas tree. You know, I've seen them with like ornaments of cowboy hats and things like that and you could do your initial letter of your last name. So like a tricky spot like that, I would probably put a little glue there because it's going to dry clear. This is kind of like a little transition area that I want to make sure that the, the jute doesn't slip. And I'm going to kind of push it down as I go just so that it looks kind of tight. I don't think you really need the sponge brush. It's going on a little thinner than I thought. But I would should push it down because I did do some marks with my black marker when I was trying to draft out my letter. But it won't show once this is all wrapped. So I'm not going to record the whole me wrapping this whole entire letter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away until I get to towards the end of the letter, and then I'll show you how I might do some finishing touches with the jute. Okay. Okay, everybody. I've got um, about 30 minutes has passed, and this is how far I've gotten. And so I'm actually using a little more glue than I thought I was. So that I wasn't originally. It's just helping it stay a little more secure and it's wrapping pretty easy. So I'm just laying down a, a little thin bed and as I wrap it, that jute catches it. Just seems to do better. I put more glue on there, it just seems to be catching a little better. And every few little wraps, I kind of condense it. It's a little awkward right here, but I just have to keep it up off the table, and it wraps pretty quick. Okay, everybody, uh, I apparently deleted the little clip where it showed uh, where I was hot gluing the rosettes and the ribbon and the hanging ribbon, but I just wanted to show you that I, you know, uh, once you get through wrapping the entire letter, if you see some spots, you know, that need um, a piece of string, just cut it and glue it and it'll kind of seal off the seal off the corners and, and any exposed cardboard you may see. And so let me just do it back up a little bit so you can see it. I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, just hot glued the rest of everything on and it took me about an hour and a half, max starting and stopping. And it took me no more than $3, the price of the jute twine and a few sheets of felt. So 
anyway it turned out pretty cute pretty inexpensive as well so i just want to thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do and i'll see you in the next one bye bye